father was essentially building houses in the 1960s. And as a teenager, I worked on roofing crews, painting crews, carpenter crews to earn extra money. Well, I went off to college and in Texas in, in the University of Houston and my dad called me one day after I graduated and had been in Houston for several years and invited me to join the family building and development business. I joined the Home Builders Association of Alabama because I felt like then and I feel today that it was a unique opportunity to continue my education, professional relationships, and personal relationships. And that to me is the key to success. You know, Robert's been a, a great leader for the association for a long time. Uh, he's got an a interest you know, that goes all the way back to his family, so he's rooted uh, in the home building industry and development business, and it shows in, in his interest in every aspect of the association and what we do. He's, he's a dedicated guy. You know, in every organization, there's those who lead and those who follow. Robert, I guess, hit the ground running. Uh, He's been involved in the association ever since I've known him. And uh, anything he's ever been asked to do, he's done, and he's done well. He's been a great leader for our association. He's always been interested in politics and over time evolved into the chairman of APAC. Uh, he's been that for the last 10 years. He, you know, to be politically active is one thing, uh, but to be politically active, raising money, investing money in candidates, and nurturing candidates and trying to win elections to benefit everybody in this room tonight is different and it's, it's not easy. It's very hard and he's been up to the task. Most people don't like to go out and raise funds and raise money and just you know, nobody likes to go ask other people for money, especially when it has to do with, with politics. Uh, but, but Robert understands why it's so important to have someone to do that. Robert's an interesting cat. Uh, most folks know he has an airplane. He flies around cutting business deals all the time. We had the Foundation Golf Tournament a couple of years ago in a barbecue dinner at my hunting camp. Robert flew in and thought he was renting a car, but they didn't have any, so he had the airport uh, taxi, if you will, that they uh, took and brought down there. And seeing Robert pulling up in an 88 Astro van is, is a sight to uh, worth seeing, and we had a good time giving him a hard time about it. Being inducted into the Hall of Fame is the single highest honor that the Alabama Home Builders Association bestows upon a member. And Robert has earned that distinction. He has absolutely earned that distinction with his contribution to our association. He's well deserving, and I don't know of anyone more qualified, and I couldn't be more proud for Robert tonight. He's joining a very select fraternity and uh, he has the abilities and he has the qualifications to be a member of the Hall of Fame. And uh, uh, I just want to congratulate Robert and, and uh, wish him well. I would like to thank um, my incredible family. Um, first of all, uh, my deceased mother and father, uh, my um, my incredible wife, Dr. Helena Buckhalter, and our two sons, Blake and Eric, who through all these years have watched me open the door at 5 a.m. in the morning and, and ask where I'm going, and I'm going on home builder's business, or I'm going wherever I'm going, and they have supported me through these years. I would like to also thank uh, all of my business partners through the years uh, who have observed and permitted me to travel and spend the necessary time in order to achieve certain goals that were all of our mutual goals uh, within our business, but also within the Home Builders Association, both on a local and a state level. I, I don't view this award as just my award. I, uh, I view it as an award for all of the members of HBAA in the entire state. All the individuals that have put in time and helped supported folks like me over the years to reach certain goals. And I will tell you that, that I'm accepting this award, but it's on, on all of your behalf.
Well, my grandfather was a builder. Uh, my father went into the building business with him, and I followed in their footsteps in and, and third generation. Well, I was always around the home builders with my father, but never attended a, a meeting. A friend of mine, who was the incoming president of Tuscaloosa, came by my office and asked me if I'd serve on her board. And I said, I'm not a member. She said, I know, I want you to join and serve on my board. So that's how I first got involved with home builders. Bill and I uh, became friends right off the bat. We uh, had a lot of things in common, um, family businesses, uh, family still involved in our businesses, and um, we uh, both uh, loved the Home Builders Association and loved being a part of uh, 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 anything to do with the Home Builders Association. Well, for years I watched my father. He was very active on the state level and then on the national level and I was able to observe all that he was able to accomplish through the association and what the association accomplished for our business. Now when you, when you speak of uh, legacy and, and HBAA and Bill, it's hard for me to not think of Bill and Fleeta. He's a great man to work for. He's the same man at home as he is at, at the office. Um, he has so much integrity and compassion and um, he has that ability that when two opposing parties sit at a table he can negotiate where both walk away content maybe not both getting exactly what they want but he has the ability to help them understand the greater good bill uh, is is a, is a man of integrity and uh, I, I love the, the fact that, that the, uh, he holds high values, uh, moral, ethical. Uh, he's just, when somebody says, you know, he's a good man. Well, Bill Edwards is a good man. This man walked into our, our um, office one time, and he's a painter, and he was going out on his own for the first time, and he asked Bill to give him a chance. And they don't agree on a price. Bill just told him he'd treat him fair. Man goes out, does the painting, Bill comes and inspects it, Bill's agreeable, and he said, well, good, let's, now how much do I owe you? And the man named a price, and Bill said, I'm not gonna pay that. And the man goes, well, is it too much? What, what is the problem? And Bill said, I, you'll never stay in business if you charge that low. Let me teach you how to bid a job. And then he talked with him about joining the Home Builders Association. And then he talked with him about the self-insurance fund. And then for years after that, the man would work with Bill and he'd come in and, and Bill would coach him um, until he outgrew us. His kindness and his compassion uh, comes through as a leader. He cares about people. He, if you'll ever notice Bill, he's stops and talks with people. He's listening intently to what they have to say. He's, you know, he's engaged with them. He encourages them. And, and his leadership style uh, is, is always good and, 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 and easy to be a part of and may it be around. He would not be given this award if it hadn't have been for all those people that taught him and encouraged him and supported him and just were willing to listen to him as much as he was willing to listen to them. Congratulations, Bill. Uh, you are a very deserving person for the Hall of Fame. Um, I, I, I know that this was um, uh, just one of many successes that you have had and probably will have. Um, uh, you're a good man and a good father, and God bless you. Um, Bill Edwards, Proverbs 27 says, Do you see a man skilled in his labor? He will not stand before obscure men. He will stand before kings. So I congratulate you on your honor, and I wish you all the best standing in the years to come my wife. She has been by my side for 33 years, but through the association, she's been at every meeting with me. She's traveled the country with me and has been such a supporter, and I'm just very appreciative of her. 
it's a great honor. I love the association. I love the people in it and have so much respect for so many of our members who have uh, gone before us and have done so much, accomplished so much with the association. And just to be recognized as someone who loves the association and what it can accomplish, it's a real honor. Out of high school, I went directly to work for an architectural firm in Montgomery as a draftsman. Well, after several years as a draftsman, I decided, you know, I might like to be an architect. So what do you have to do? So I read all the books that they read, and I went and took all the tests that they took, and I passed. And used to, I couldn't even spell architect, and now I are one. <laughs> Joe Lambert from Prattville one day, after uh, getting into the business, asked me if I would join the Home Builders Association. And I, of course, I said yes, and that was the best move I've ever made. I was uh, serving on the uh, Greater Montgomery Home Builders Association board after my year of presidency, and uh, Larry had shown some interest in becoming one of the leadership uh, positions in the uh, local association, and uh, as he progressed through the uh, ladder, more or less to become president, he and I got to be very close friends. Um, Larry and I have known each other for 25 years. and. Uh, it's just been the fact that Larry was always there at, the, at our meetings, so you couldn't help but get to know him. He's always a positive spirit at our association meetings. Never, never a down word. He's always willing to help, and he's always been there. Larry was the moving force for us to have uh, a monthly meeting in the city of Prattville. He was adamant about the fact that people in Prattville did not want to be on our side of the river after dark and therefore they were not interested in coming to our monthly meetings so we instituted monthly meetings in Prattville at his insistence. Larry has, uh, has always been one of the pillars of our associates for many years. He's always been there to give advice and to give a helping hand with, uh, with his architectural expertise and his building expertise. He's always been available to the local association and to the state association since uh, his presidency. He was our president in 1997, and he's been very active state and locally uh, since that point in time. I think one of the uh, latest things that Larry has done to show his willingness to serve is a project that we got involved with at Maxwell Air Force Base. Uh, I believe they called it Freedom Park, and, and uh, after we were involved and I was de designated as the builder, Larry took the time to draw the plans and uh, follow up on everything that we needed to complete our part of the project. If you spend any time around Larry, you know he's not a person to sit around in the background. He's one to, if he's in a meeting, if he doesn't like what he hears, he'll take charge. He'll, he'll voice his opinion, and generally his opinion is right. In 2008, when I was local president, we were going to the uh, Beau Rivage down in Biloxi, and I thought, well, let's do a black tie. This will be a lot of fun. Well, I took my tuxedo down there, and I got all dressed up, looking, looking what I thought looked okay. Went down to the, to the reception, and guess what the uh, executive committee had done? They came in wearing tux, looks like from 1920s. We looked like uh, Larry Smith, president, and the pips. And when I think of Hall of Fame, I think of Larry Smith. He's, uh, he certainly deserves it. He's been the president of our local association along with the state association. And I think if he were to put his mind to it and, and put the time into it, he could be our national leader. He's that kind of person. He has served his local and his state. He's always been there to help. Uh, I don't think the committee could have picked a better person. Uh, and I think it's uh, a little bit overdue that Larry gets this recognition. So I would like to offer to him my congratulations and, and best wishes. I'd like to congratulate Larry for uh, a deserved, a well-deserved honor. And it makes our association proud of him. It makes us look good. And it makes Larry proud to know him, a true advocate for the housing industry. And I'm proud to know him as a friend. I would like to personally thank my wife of Stanley Jill for being with me on this. And in the industry, I would like to thank my, in architecture, the person that taught me design would be Gene Parsons, who's retired now. 
And I'd like to thank uh, Hugh Cole at, at Greater Montgomery. I'd like to thank Ennis McIntyre. I'd like to also thank uh, uh, Bill Deloney, because Bill Deloney sort of pushed me into being in at the state level. Just being considered for the Hall of Fame is a great honor, but to actually be inducted into the Hall of Fame when all these other people that you know that's in the fame, you know, am I in that class? These, these people are really deserve it. And it's just a really honor to be bestowed and inducted into the, the Hall of Fame.